Facebook. It was just, oh no, it was YouTube. Was it YouTube? It was YouTube. Right on, right on. I've been, I actually spent a good amount of time, um, well, not too, too long, six years. I was in the mortgage industry from 2010 to 2016. So that's when I kind of networked with a bunch of realtors, learned the mortgage industry. Um, and, and in 2016, I ended up just developing a passion to help, you know, on a different side of it all, help these agents that I was networking with that I just knew had no chance when it came to marketing. Yeah. And so in, in 2016, I leave mortgages to start consulting agents and brokers and kind of been doing that ever since. So just consulting on, on social media and Facebook ads and just kind of building a brand. Yeah. So I ended up just documenting it. And, and those are pretty much my videos on YouTube. You know, I'm either documenting, you know, different parts of me building my business or, you know, documenting different tutorials when it comes to landing pages and sales funnels. And yeah, that's kind of what I turned my YouTube channel into. And that started, that started at the same time around 20, 2017 is when I started putting up YouTube videos, but yeah, but I'm, I'm just glad I, I meet so many great people like yourself and I'd love to help you any way I can. What are you up to? Well, I'm i uh, I'm seasoned, you know, I'm in my sixties and uh, I made a change about uh, three years ago uh -huh. from commercial uh, lending in the energy retrofit business, going into hotels and doing oh, wow. uh, engineering yeah. studies and then packaging them and having uh, Deutsche Bank actually finance those retrofits. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. business imploded. And uh, once the tax credits went away, companies didn't do the big retrofits anymore. Mm -hmm. So I switched over to residential and, you know, just to keep it real, you know, mm -hmm. I, I struggle in this space mm -hmm. and I have uh, not an aversion, but just a fear of the whole online mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But I know I have to be there. And when I ran across your video, I thought, if not now, when? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you got, you got the right idea. I'll tell you that much. You definitely got the right idea. Now, now it just, and, and it's even, I try to narrow it even further because what everyone what everyone knows is, is obviously the importance. Like, for example, when I jumped into, into the internet and I jumped into online marketing and, and really just trying to master what it takes to capture a lead on the internet, yeah. that started in 99. And so in 1999 and in the early 2000s, entrepreneurs, small business owners, medium-sized business owners, we obviously knew the importance of the internet and having some type of website presence. Yeah. Right. Like in the early 2000s, it was all about getting online and having a website. And then and then as we as we kind of move fast forward into into kind of the kind of the late well, not even late, more more towards 2015, 2016, 2017 into where we're at today. Social media is where the attention is at. But when it comes to when it comes to a local business now, in your case, are you doing business nationwide or are you trying to focus just on your local area? I'm licensed in Illinois and Indiana, and I actually do business in both states. So then you can you can target the entire state and 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 do very well. Okay, most most businesses that I speak to, like for example, most agents are just farming a couple zip codes. Yeah. So in that case, although social media is important, and and even in your case, let's just break it down by the state. If we're not breaking down a couple zip codes, breaking down one state specifically is, is pretty much the same. Maybe two states, pretty much the same. Because what I'm saying is the fact that most of us business owners, we're, we know the importance of social media. And now we're trying to build a social media brand or presence. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to most businesses, what ends up happening is you'll end up, you'll come over here and you'll build a Facebook following. You may build an Instagram following or a LinkedIn following. At the end of the day, when you scale those numbers up, like your friends on Facebook, like over here on the personal page, it all starts with the personal page. You got your business page. That's one thing, mm -hmm. but, it, but it all starts with your personal pages, the personal Facebook, the personal LinkedIn, even though your LinkedIn may be business as well, yeah. it's still considered your personal account. And even, even Instagram, you may have a business account set up with Instagram, but it's still your personal account. Sure. So when it comes to all these different platforms, what ends up happening once we scale this friend list up and you go from 200 friends to 2,200 friends and to 4,200 friends, and then you go to, you know, seven, 7,500 connections on LinkedIn, 
as you scale these numbers up, the majority of people will live across the country in other states than where you're doing business, mm-hmm. right? Like I'm in California. Yeah. Perfect example. You and I, we connect on social media. I'm in California, a state that you're not doing business. Now, can you probably broker a deal? Yeah, you can make it happen, but you're not licensed here. I'm not your ideal client. No. Right. And that's, that ends up becoming the, the type of followers that end up we, that we end up attracting on social media. And so what I'm saying is I spent the last four years just consulting on the fact that you have to run an ad. Like you have to, it's not just about a social media presence and trying to build this social media brand and post all the time. It's really about narrowing it in further and and getting even more precise and running an ad. So if we're, if we're licensed just for the state of Illinois, we need to be running ads only to the state of Illinois. Those needs to be our only, our only post. Uh, those should be the only posts that go up on our business page is a post that we're going to actually run an ad to, to target Illinois. Mm -hmm. So, so, so coming over here to social media, that's one thing. That's what you're really, you know, trying to, trying to get more comfortable with and break the ice with and get acclimated to all these different platforms. But I, I'm, I'm, what I'm really trying to say is that it's easier than you, than, than, than what you think. One post you run an ad you target Illinois and you get the attention of that state and that state only. Yeah. That's where all your attention goes. That's where all your energy goes. That's where all your resources go is to create these, sim- these simple posts that tailor just the state of Illinois. Mm-hmm. Got it. You know, so, so, so long story short, it's, it's Facebook ads, whether it's a Facebook ad, whether it's an Instagram ad, whether, whether it's a YouTube ad, those are the three main platforms, but really you want to stick with Facebook for now. Facebook advertising is, is, is by far the most effective and the, and the most cost effective. Okay. So, so don't think you have to be posting on this page all the time. You don't, you actually don't at all. It, it's really, it's really one post. What I would recommend is, is one post that you're running an actual add on mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and, 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 and not just, not just a post because this is a post. If I click on this, it's an image. So, so what this is, is it's, it's the text, it's the image, and that's it. So a person would have to comment below if they were interested. Yeah. But, the, but the thing about, about our business page over here, what we end up doing is we end up inviting our personal friends on our Facebook page to like the page over here, right? Exactly. Exactly. But, but as I'm saying, as you scale up that friend list, the majority of them are not going to live in the country. I mean, excuse me, are not going to live in your state. So when you and I become friends on Facebook, you're out there, I'm in California and you're inviting me to like your page. Yeah. That makes up the majority. Like people that live across the country make up the majority of your friend list. Sure. Unless, unless you're sitting at 200 friends and you say, you know what, David, these 200 friends that I have on my personal Facebook page, I actually know them all. They're all my colleagues. They're all my friends. They all live in our state. Okay, that's 200. I'll give it to you. But as I mentioned, as you take that number to 2,200, those people will not live in your state. Yeah. And those are the ones we're inviting to like our business page. And so the 164, there's a large percentage. In fact, I know it's 90%. Nine out of every 10 of the 164 live across the country. So the moment we start posting over here, not only does, does no one, does, first of all, no one sees it because Facebook only shows it to 1% of your like count. So mm. only 1% of the 164 are even seen it. Yeah. But at the same time, 90% of the 164 don't even live in the area. Right. So yeah. That's why posting organically, that's what this is called. It's just organic posting, whether you're organic posting on this platform or Instagram or LinkedIn, it's the same thing. You're organic posting. So the moment we can take this post and run an ad, that's when you're going to win. Yeah. These are posted automatically by the brokerage. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. What, what I would start doing, and, and here's another thing that you may not be comfortable with yet, but how comfortable are you with video? Not everyone is. I'm going to get comfortable with it. Okay. I'm committed to that. Oh my gosh, Jay, if you can, if you can at least say that, like you're going to crush it. Like if you can at least say that, you're going to crush it. 
because I, I, to this day, well, since 2016 to this day, I've spoken to, to thousands th and specifically real estate agents, but every, every, every business is the same. Like what I teach these basic strategies, they apply to every small business. It doesn't matter what it is. Like every, sure. every service-based business, I don't care if you're servicing or you're providing a product, a physical product. It's all the same when it comes to these basic strategies on social media. Um, so what I'm saying is that I've spoken to so many people and the first thing that they say is, you know, David, I'm, I'm actually not comfortable. Yeah. So the fact that you said, you know what, I'm committed, I'm, I'm going to get comfortable. You're already winning. You're already winning, Jay. Thank you. Thank so the you. moment you can actually really slip out of that and, and bust out is, is when, is when you really dominate because here's what you, what you could be doing. Here's what you really should be doing. These types of posts like this are obviously content based. They're educational based. Has your home, has your home's value increased? Like we're actually wanting to reach out. Can we show you, we can show you what your home is worth in today's market and go over your options to, for, for purchasing a new home. Contact us to get started. The moment you can start taking this type of, of, of content and making short form videos on it, mm -hmm. it's when you win. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. So, so, so I, although this is just a couple lines or, you know, three lines and an image I know that there's more to be said there. Yeah. Like yeah. I know there's more that more to be said and I, and it doesn't have to be much more. It could be, it could be, it could be 60 seconds of something. Mm -hmm. The fact that instead of reading three lines on a picture of something, I actually elaborated on it, put it on camera, put myself on video and spoke about it for 60 seconds. Yes. That yeah. right there, man, is all it takes is, is these types of educational posts, but actually pulling out your phone and talking about it. Mm hmm that's it, man. It's, it's that, it's that basic. It's that simple. Most won't do it. Yeah. But when you can take that and you could say, Hey guys, this is Jay. Just wanted to kind of share some of the vendors that we help that we work with. Like this stuff is, is so, and, and that's why I tell people all the time, Jay, if it wasn't for you seeing me on video, yeah. you would have not developed the, 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 the psychology of liking, feeling like, you know, me, feeling like you can trust me type of factors. Like right. you would have not mentally felt that had it not be a quote unquote video from some random guy named David. Yeah. Like you would not be here today. If, right. if I was taking all my content and putting it in text form with, with generic, with generic images, Jay would have never reached out. Jay would have never spent the time reading it. Jay would have never found me. Jay would have never said, man, this guy seems like a cool guy. Let me reach out to him. Yeah. Like you would have never did that. Never, ever, ever. True. And, 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 and it was only a couple videos. I doubt you've, you've been watched, you know, hundreds of my videos. You probably only watched a couple, maybe a few, if that. Three. That was it. Right. And so Three. imagine, imagine if that was your video. And, and when you look at my videos, there's nothing fancy about it. There's no editing. There's no professional camera crew. It is raw, uncut. I'm filming it on my, on my computer. Like it, it's nothing fancy. So the moment people start seeing those very unfancy, very unedited on your cell phone type of videos, and it's Jay in their newsfeed, educating them on the mortgage process. That's when you win. And, 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 and when that video is going through someone's newsfeed, as someone is over here on their Facebook, whether they're on a computer, whether they're on a, on a cell phone, they're just scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what their friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting. And all of a sudden they come across a sponsored ad. These are your Facebook ads right here. Mm -hmm. So those show up in the sponsored and, 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 and there's two types of, of ads, really two types of, of forms of branding. I should say, as I'm scrolling through and seeing what my friends are up to, all of a sudden I come across a sponsored post. The two things that are that, that that the two reasons why this ad I'm willing to bet is not performing at its highest is because number one, the the link, this is their business page. It's very generic. It's very, it's very unprofessional, it's very unpersonal. Social media mastery. Automatically I know it's a company, automatically I know it's an ad, automatically I'm turned off. Yeah. And unless I keep seeing them. That might be something different. If, if I keep seeing them over and over and over and over and over, then, then maybe it will draw my attention someday some, somehow. This needs to be your name. 
So it's a good thing that you have your business page. That's what a lot of businesses try to do is they'll try to brand some business name mm -hmm. when it needs to be yours. It needs to be yours. That's, that's tip number one. It has to be your name, which it is. And that's good. Okay. And then I scroll down and I'm seeing this generic video, nothing personal, no one's face, no image of anyone, nothing. It's just, it's just, it's just very generic. That's what, and, and so this is, this is an ad. This guy's targeting me, but there's no, there, it's going to take him a very, very long time to get, to get our attention, to get my attention, to get, to get most attention because it's just very unpersonal. Had I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and see, let's say a random, let's see if I can find um, any, another ad. See another, another, here's mortgage leads structurally. So again, nothing personal about the name, nothing personal about the video. In fact, it's, it's, it's like a 16 second video, but it's just very stock, you yeah. know, image, nothing yeah. personal. The moment people are start scrolling through their newsfeed, Jay, and, 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 and they see your name up here, they see a video of you. Like, let me see if I can find a random video of, of anyone. I mean, at least it's, at least it's actually, it's still too commercial. It's still way too commercial. Um, let me see. See, so at least, okay, here's a perfect example. Perfect example. At least it's a little more personal, right? Yeah. Allie Bloyd. Yes, I see the word media, but that's fine. Her name is still in there just like yours. Mm -hmm. And then although she's not doing a video, that's a picture of her. Yeah. Big difference. That's what makes or break an ad. And that's the reason why I always say video is what everyone needs to be doing because that video of Jay would have caught my attention way faster. But even when I see an image of the person, I see her profile picture up here. I see an image of her down here. It's more personal. That still catches my attention. But obviously video would have had a different attention. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and a more, more powerful attention. But, but that's how it, it's either you're going to put yourself out on, 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 you know, on in image, or you're going to put yourself out on video. That's what you have to be doing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be video. If it's an image of you, I truly believe you can win. But, but in that case, when it comes down to an image of just you, now you have to just be very good at copywriting, which is writing out this text. Yeah. Because we're, 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 we're targeting, right? We're, we're running an ad looking for our, our ideal client and we're only targeting where we're doing business, which is, let's just say, Illinois. You know, so, so writing out the text is what you'd want to get good at if you only plan on putting an image of yourself. I wouldn't put a general image of, you know, of a mortgage rate or anything like that, you know, like, like this or like this. Like this, if anything, this needs to be Jay's family. Yeah, yeah. Right. You see the big difference. Like it'd be a huge difference. Like that's personal. But but again, the magic and, and really the icing on the cake is the fact that, OK, it's it's a post. It's on my business page. But behind the scenes, I'm targeting my state. Mm -hmm. That's where you win. The fact that you're targeting your state and the fact that they keep seeing you because you keep running one every week. That's the magic is when you can run one every week. I've, I've spoken to countless business owners where they'll run an ad here and there. It's like, yeah. okay, I guess that explains why you're getting a lead here and there. You know what I mean? If you can stay consistent and run one every single week and you don't have to spend that much, you do not, we're not talking thousands of dollars at all. We're talking pennies, Jay. Like literally we're talking pennies, man. Yeah. Compared to, compared to anything else, compared to anything else. And, and just the fact that this is where the attention is at, everyone and their mother is in their Facebook news feed, scrolling through, seeing what everyone's up to. And, and the fact that they keep seeing Jay's face, they keep seeing Jay's video, and, and you're running one every single week, that, yeah. that's the game changer. Now, now that's, one, that's, that, that's, that's step one, is the weekly video, and running one every single week targeting your local area, or, or your state for that matter. Sure. It's a weekly ad. Here's the next step. Once I see your ad, whether I'm seeing an image, let's go back to the news feed. Whether I'm seeing an image or whether I'm seeing a video, I'm scrolling through the news feed. I'm scrolling through the news feed. And then all of a sudden, I see a learn more. So whenever it's an ad, 
sponsored. There's the text. There's the image. You'll always have this learn more button, this call to action button. Mm -hmm. So as you start to run ads and get more familiar with Facebook ads, this is the call to action button that Facebook allows you to have, and it links to a web page. Mm -hmm. So here's the next step. Now I have a bunch of pages for agents, but I mean, mortgage, same, same exact thing. You would just, you would just actually, you know what? Let me put it this way. What I, what I, what I consult agents on is running these types of ads, not always for a listing, not always for an open house, because you're not always going to have a listing or an open house. So if I'm preaching over here, run one weekly, if I don't have a listing, David, what am I running it on? So what I advise my clients to do is to run it weekly on a seller guide or a buyer guide. Yeah. So your videos or your, or your image, let's just stick to video. Your videos are going to start being educational based and educating people on the buying or selling of real estate. And I always tell them to pick one. So if you're a listing agent, okay, cool. Let's talk about the process of selling. Let's start doing weekly videos, short video, one minute, two minute video, maybe three minute if that. We start doing weekly videos, educating people on the process of selling. And at the end of that video, so let's say you do a two minute video, the last 10 seconds is a call to action. And hey guys, by the way, we put together a 2020 seller guide that's gonna give you all the ins and outs of what you, what you can do to your property to prepare it to sell. We provided 10 tips to increase the value of your home before selling. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free seller guide. See you guys there. Yeah. So the call to action at the end of the video is to click learn more to download your seller guide. Mm -hmm. In your case, very, very same thing. Very similar. Put together some type of rate guide or put together some type of first time home buying guide or put together what it takes to refinance or, to, or put together a, a, a reverse mortgage package. Any type of brochure, two pages, five pages. I have some seller guides that are 25 pages, whatever. Like, Get your hands on some type of, 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 of home buying guide or refinance guide or something like that. A few pages, a PDF, that becomes your bait. Now you come, then you come over here on to Facebook and we start doing weekly videos, educating on this process, giving away our free buyer guide or whatever that guide may be. Yeah. Right. So, that becomes your bait. So now we're running ads weekly to Illinois. So we're getting people to click, learn more. They're coming over here to download their guide in exchange for their name and email. Can you see my screen, David, for just a couple seconds? Yeah, I sure can. Let me um, let me stop share on this end. I don't want to take you off your game. No, no, you're good, man. I'm, I, that's pretty much it. It was just that pay. The weekly ad is what ninety nine point nine 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 percent of people don't do. Taking yeah. them to a landing page to capture a lead is what one hundred percent of them don't do. So, so that's pretty much all I had was was that that right there. If you can if you can master that part checkmate you, you so my thought is exactly to follow you know as a disciple of mm -hmm. david to create a video post that takes them to a landing page can you see this or do i have to take no, that you can go to share screen so you can click the green button below now right. to share okay so take them to this landing page does it do okay share there we go Right. I just started creating this last night. I am like, this is all I've got so far. Awesome. I don't even know how to link this button. But then what happens is it goes to um, this buy sell. How do I do that? Can you see that coming in? I can see your page. Get your free personalized. Okay. Then buy birth I'll rent analysis. This is perfect. If you've been thinking about buying a home. Yeah, this is great. This is really great. Okay, now I need to figure out how to show you my other screen here. Does that come in now, David? Yeah, I, I see your that, that one. I see this one now. Yeah. Now the report? Perfect.
right? So I create this report. It takes about three minutes if they fill out that information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have a show and tell video that allows me to then, I'm going to record the video on, hey, awesome. here's the personalized buy versus rent analysis. Give them like a three minute talk track, go through all of the numbers mm -hmm, with them mm -hmm. so they understand it. Mm -hmm. Shoot it off, capture their email address and then start a drip campaign. I love it. That's all you got to do, man. That's, that, that's all it takes. So, so having the back end, this is all the back end, making sure that all that is, is, is just sealed and, and tight. This page is good. The PDF goes out, the email autoresponder, these people are receiving emails. That's all the back end. Once you have that part tight, you're good to go. And I call that 1%. That's, that's 1%. The 99% is going to be you running weekly Facebook ads. Yeah. If you yeah. can do that, Jay, game over. Yeah. It's all, it's all in that weekly ad. If th that, that's what it's all about. It's all about driving traffic. If we can drive traffic, then, 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 then you'll be able to look at the numbers and be able to even determine if this is even a good page or not. Maybe, maybe we, we don't ask for as much information. You'll be able to see all that as you're running more traffic. So it yeah. all starts with the traffic, you know, but this is, this is, this is good to go. I mean, First name, current rent payment, desired home payment. Yeah, I wouldn't ask for no more information than that. Um, and you know what? I'm, I, I, I may even take out the comments. Okay. I may even take out the comments. I may just ask for first name, current rent payment, desired home payment, email address, and that's it. Like, if I, it, like I would just ask for that because I wouldn't even ask for Illinois or, or, or county, because I'm, I already know I'm targeting an area. So I don't need to know if I'm, if I'm, if I know I'm targeting Illinois, cause that's what all I'm going to do with this page. I wouldn't take this link and share it all over social media. You're not going to get anything with it. And, and, if, and, and if you do, someone's going to end up opting in that lives in Arizona. Yeah. You know, cause you're friends with them on LinkedIn. You know what I mean? So 100% Facebook ads directly to this page, asking for the least amount of information possible. Yep. So comments, I would take out county, Illinois County. Well, the county, I, I need that for appreciation you? percentage so I can show gotcha, them. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. gotcha, okay. The only, the only reason I added comments, David, was I thought if somebody says, I'm interested in getting pre-approved or, you know, mm -hmm. I'm ready to buy a house or something that's not a gotcha. set response. But I can take that out, no problem. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It, I mean, it's just testing, you know, test it test yeah. one one ad with this much and then another ad maybe take it take it out so yeah, yeah. test it but um this is this is fine for now i mean what what is going to be super important is is the is the is the thank you page so so the moment they fill this out they click on the button send me my free analysis the next page that they go to that's the thank you page that's wh what do they go to next in fact do you can you show me the thank you page I don't have, this is all I've created so far. I did this. Gotcha, gotcha. My thank you page is going to be a video of me explaining that I'll be preparing a customized, awesome. personalized report for you. Give me a day or so if I'm not in the office or, you know, something like that. Perfect. Just make it personal, maybe 90 seconds and that's it. And here's what I would add to that thank okay. you page. All right. I would add, and, and that's why I don't know if you, uh, yeah, I don't, for the past two years, I've been, I've been talking about one software, which is Kartra, because yeah. it has everything that we need. So for example, and you're, you're a perfect example, what you're going to need is you're going to need, well, you're juggling multiple softwares. I already, I already know you are, right? With Wix, that's one software. Your email drip system, who's that with? Uh, we have a company, one that uh, I, I use. I've got thousands of names in it. It's just okay. Perfect. And then how about an online calendar? Do you have an online calendar? I don't. Okay. That, that's what's super important. Super, super important. Because what you want to do is the moment, the moment they fill out this form and they click that button and they go to your thank you page and they see your video, that video is, is, is designed to, yeah, thank them, welcome them, introduce yourself, let them know, hey, yeah, I'll be putting together this report in the next day or so once I'm back at the office. You're, you also want to tell them to check their emails because you have some great information coming their way. 
That's another thing you want to you want to mention in that okay. short thank you video. Hey, and by the way, guys, make sure to check your emails because I have a ton of great emails coming your way. They're going to teach you the process of mortgages and what it takes to purchase in today's time, right? Like you can just drop something like that to yeah. really get their mind thinking and and prepared for your emails. That that that's how you end up getting a high email rate, high open rate because you're prepping them up front. That's something to mention. But the last thing to mention is the most important, and, it, and that's the call to action. At the end of every video, whether it's a video ad, a Facebook video ad, whether it's a thank you ad, whether or video, excuse me, whether it's a thank you video on your thank you page, whether it's a video that you send them during, dur during the email process where, where you're now dripping emails on them, but some of those emails are video, video emails, whatever. Every video, any video needs to have a call to action. Okay. So that thank you video, the call to action is, hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call now, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So on that thank you video page, there should be a link to an online calendar. Okay. And, 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 and you're, you're also, again, another, another example because you're now in my drip system, right? You got the book. Then yeah. you, now you're receiving a handful of emails. Yes. In those emails, those videos, there's a call to action. Watch That's them here today. Yes. A as you watch those videos, there's always a call to action. And hey, guys, by the way, click the link below if you want to schedule a call. Blah blah blah. Right. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get people to schedule a call via my emails that are going out via video, because there's my online calendar. So my online calendar is so important. So important. And, and, and I don't know if you remember, but that, that was my video when you got the book. So when you got the book, you ended up coming to a thank you page, which was me on video. On that video, I'm explaining what's in the book, but I'm also shooting for a call to action. I'm also saying, hey, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. So those, the, that, 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 that online calendar is very, very important. Got it. Very important because some people are going to want to talk to you now, just like you, like right when I, right when I got your appointment, I'm like, dude, this guy's a go-getter. Like he got my book. He scheduled a call right away. Like he's not playing around. Yeah. Right. You have some people like that. Now, not all of them, like as you run Facebook ads, not all of them are going to go to the thank you page and schedule a call, but that's fine. But at least there's a calendar link there in case they wanted to. But at the same time on that, thank you video, I'm really programming their mind. I'm planting a seed in their brain to say, Hey, check for my emails. You're not going to want to miss out. I'm going to have, I'm going to have some great value-based content coming your way. That's going to teach you all the ins and outs of what it takes to apply for a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and again, in these video or in these emails, your drip emails, I would put some videos in there. Like I would, I would, and, and, and that video would simply sit on a week on a Wix page. Yeah. So, so in that email, they click the link. Hey guys, and by the way, click the link below to watch my latest video on interest rates, mm -hmm. right? And 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 that that could be email number four, and mm -hmm. and in that email, there's a link that's taking them to a Wix page with Jay on video educating them on interest rates. So yeah. it was it was email number four, but it was a video on Jay. Yeah. That's what I would do, man, on those videos, on, the, on those drips. Don't just send, that's what everybody does. Don't just send text-based emails. Like, and, and, and that's it. I would step it up and go, go take it a step further and put yourself out on video. So the, those three paragraphs that you planned on emailing me, mm -hmm. why don't you make it one paragraph and talk about in video the other two? Yeah. Cool. You know? Yeah. So, and, 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 and that's why this right here, it's not just because it video, video is video. There's so many magical things on why video is so powerful, but, but, but in this case, when it comes to, when it comes to us being small business owners, going after clients, when it comes to our type of, of business and per, putting a personal touch to it is literally what separates you from every other lender calling them. Yeah. No one's putting their face on video, man. These other mortgage guys that are calling them, no one's putting their, their self out on video, They're man. Not. They're not. So, so, so you, not only are they seeing Jay in their newsfeed because he's running video ads, not only did Jay give up something of value up front for free, and that was his free analysis, his free download. Mm -hmm. Not only is Jay educating me via video in emails, 
not only is he doing all that, but Jay is the only one doing that. Yeah. You know, Jay's the only one doing that. That's what separates. That's why video is so powerful. Cause I just know that 99% of your competition, they're not doing that. Yeah. So, so if you, if you did that, you would completely stand out and, and win, win clients over, you know, that's yeah, kind of, I, mean, I got a lot of work to do. I'm starting, you know, ground up, but definitely I see the value of the whole thing. Here, here's where you kind of want to start here. Let me, do you have a personal page? Yeah. Okay. Let, let me pull up your personal page. What's your personal? Jay Beaton. Okay. Here's where you want to start. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what step one, everything I just covered with you, Jay was step it, I mean, in the book, for example, there's right. five steps. Step right. three is weekly ads. Step four is that landing page. And step five is email automation. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we spoke about is running that weekly ad, taking them to a landing page and capturing that email. And in that, and with that email, there needs to be an email series, a sequence, a drip system that goes out, educating them on what they downloaded. Mm -hmm. So that's what you want to also keep in mind. As you put together these emails, they're going to be dripping on them over time. Make these emails relevant and based on what they downloaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that's why your, your analysis Depend on depending on how many pages is it just one page? Is it just a one pager that they're it's getting? A one page, one and done. Okay, one and done. That's what they get to download. That's the free download. What I would do is I would also, you know what? I would also I'd probably take it a step up and 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 get your hands on 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 something else. Like get your make that a, an added bonus bonus. The the analysis that's what they're going to get. But but see if you can get your hands on on maybe like a five pager, a ten pager, some type of buyer guide. Like some type of like, like Got maybe all kinds of them. Yeah, man, you do. I know you do. Yeah. Yep. So, so, so get me something or get yourself something that's, that's maybe five to 10 pages, something a little bit more meatier, yep. some meat on it. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and, and make that part of the free, the free download as well, because let's say it's a seven page guide, a seven page, you know, home buying guide. It makes it very easy to, to write out your next few emails. Your next few emails are going to be all based on those seven pages. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so in your emails, all you're doing is bringing their attention back to what they downloaded. Hey, Hey Dave, this is Jay. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know, you know, uh, last week you downloaded my free buyer guide. Do you remember on page nine, when I was talking about the importance of your FICO score, here's what I meant by it. And, yeah. and, and you're giving me a couple, a couple liners. And by the way, Dave, click here. If you'd like to see a video that I just did on, on the, on this topic, click here, oh, watch now. And, and, and boom, I click on the link. It takes me to a Wix page and it's Jay on video. It's 30 seconds of him breaking down why my FICO score is so important. Yes. That's it, man. Like that's it. But again, that's all the back end, the 1%, the Wix, the video, the landing page, the thank you page. That's all the back end. And that is the time consuming part up front. But once that part is done, 99% man is going to come down to you running a weekly ad. Yeah. If you can do that part, you got it, Jay. You got it. But here's where it starts. Let me pull up your, your personal page. Where's your personal? Right up there. Cross country mortgage. Nope. Down right there. So this, this right here is your business page. Do you have a personal page? Doesn't that come up? Um, I don't, I don't know which one would be, which let's go to, let's go to just people. Um, actually this one right here. Perfect. So this is your personal page right here. Perfect, man. You're looking good with all those icons. Perfect. You taught me that. I followed your, that was step oh, one. Jay, you're awesome, man. Looks really, really good. And then you got your business page right there. Perfect. Your only next step, your first step is to take that like count up. Take that number up first. Yeah. So before you, before you even do another video, before you think you need to start running weekly videos to Illinois, take this like count up first. Yeah. That number needs to go up, go up a little higher. Because on, on the business page, this right here goes a long way is that like count. Okay. People come here, they see it, they automatically assume that you just started. Yeah. Right? Because it's just such a low like count. You don't need to take it that, that high, but you want to at least put a comma in the number. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like over here, like if, if people come to my business page, there's the link right there. They click on it. They want to kind of dive in and see what David is, is up to and see who David is. They'll, they'll come to this page. They'll kind of scroll down. 
see what's going on. And then all of a sudden, right away, the first thing they come to without even seeing a, a post yeah. is that like number. Right. You know, if right. that like number was at 150, it'd be a completely different look. Right. All that is now you don't need 10,000. You don't need nowhere near that. Okay. But the comma is there. It's a completely different perception. Got when it. you see that number, you automatically assume that I know something about something. Yeah. Right. Like just because of the number. So when, when I come here, at least, at least take it to 1100, you know, you don't need 10,000, but at least take it to a thousand. Okay. You know, that's where that number needs to be. Um, because on, on the business page that, that, that holds so much weight. It's not even, it's not even funny. Okay. So run a like ad, right? Run a like ad. And you have to run it to everyone on Facebook with the like ad. You don't want to target just Illinois or target just your area. Like you have to target to everyone who fits the interest of home ownership. You target everyone on Facebook. Um, have you run an ad in the past or have you ran one lately? I haven't run anything lately, but I have run ads and gave up on them. Sometimes. Okay. That one may cost you way more than you need to, um, than you need to spend. If, if anything, like I can easily, like I'll easily just help you out. Like I can easily run it for you. Like you just pay for it. Like, let me know whatever your budget is. Like it don't, I mean, this is a one-time ad. It's not an ad you're going to run every week. Like this is a one-time ad. You run it one time, put a comma in that number fast, and then you shut it off. And that's what I call step two. So step one is listing all your links, which you did over here on the, on the, per, on the other page, which is a good job on, on step one. Step two is this like number. Yeah. And then step three is the weekly ad. Step four is the landing page. Step five is the email automation. That's yeah. what I wrote in that book. So yeah. step two is this like ad. Um, if anything, I can run it for you. Like just pay for it and just pay me back with a good review on my business page. I mean, I can easily, easily do that. Just how high do we want to go? Or, or I should say, what's our budget? Like what's our budget? And I can kind of tell you any kind of runs, always shut it off, right? Well, I would shut it off on my end, but at the same time, I'm only going to run it. It's a one-time ad. So I, I know exactly how to, how to like what to target, how to run it. Okay. So what I normally do is I'll run it for 30 days. And, and in this meantime, we're then now focused and prepping for the next step, which is the next step, which is step three. Yeah. So, so it comes out of my account that I've got set up there for payments, right? Not the like ad. I have everything on my end. So if anything, I can run it on my end. I would just, I would run it from your business page. Like I would gain access to your page. Okay. Yeah, like so I can, let's throw a hundred at it. Yeah. You can easily do that. A hundred would take that number to a thousand and okay. that's all you need. Okay. You know, you don't need, you don't need more than that. Like, because after that, now that we have a comma, now that we have this number at 1100, for example, a hundred dollar budget would take that number to 1100 in the next few days. Like literally, like we'll run it for, for a month, but it will take it, it will take it there fast. Yeah. And that's it. Like, and then after that, then we start strategizing and preparing for weekly video ads. Well, then I can always run another one later, right? I mean, if I you wanna... can, you can, but I don't really, you don't really need to. That's the thing. Like you need a comma, whether it's a thousand or whether it's 5,000, I just need a comma. You know, so you can run it again later, but you're not going to need to. What I'm trying to really say is run it one time, yep. take the number up, we shut it off. Then every dollar after that goes into a weekly video ad. Yep. Okay. That's how you should be, should, should be okay. strategizing for it. One time, hundred bucks. After that, every ad, we, we focus on videos and that goes weekly to your state of Illinois. Yep. You wow. know? Because the number, it's just for perception. Like I want people in Illinois to, when they start seeing your weekly video ads, I want them to click, come here and see 1200. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's who I'm trying to get the attention of is, is Illinois. Forget about everybody else. It's Illinois, but I'm only going to start reaching them when I start doing weekly ads and that might be later on. So right now we'll just focus on this. Okay. And, you know, in the meantime, we'll get the links. And I have, yeah, actually, you know what? What I would recommend also is, did you link everything over here as well? Well, so there's something weird about the page. It See how it has the square box? That's like yes. Twitter and them, but for some reason it didn't. Yeah, it doesn't show on a computer. I believe it shows on your cell phone, but not on a computer for oh, some okay. reason. So, yeah, I did. Good. Good job, man. Really, really good. Really, really good. Looks good, Jay. Thank Looks you. really good, Jay. Looks really, really good. So. What I would also do, one last thing, is I would get the .com. I have it. Perfect. So forward that 
to this site. So, so right now it's a GoDaddy and it goes to my cross country site. I need to de-link that. No, it could still go there. Okay. Well, I, what do I link my landing page to? You'll, you'll want to get a different domain for that then. I see. Okay. And, and, and why don't you get, and, and you can get it for a buck. Like if you come to, in fact, I have a, I have a video that I can send you, but let me, I can just easily show it to you now. If you kind of go, if you kind of Google and you just type in cheap domains, yep. you type, type in cheap domains, you'll see 99 cents here at the top. Yep. So you can get that domain for the next year for a buck. What I would do is I would literally customize a domain for that landing page. Okay. So if we're giving away a free analysis, maybe jaysfreeanalysis.com. All right. Or something creative like that that pertains to only that page. Yep. And I would build your entire marketing campaign around that. That's, that's the bait. So as we come on a social media and as we start to build our brand, there's the initial upfront offer that we give people. And that is our bait. That's what we throw out there like a fishing, like on a fishing pole. We throw that bait out there and we catch people with it. And, and, and that bait is that, is that free PDF, is that free download, is that free yep. analysis. That yep. is our bait. So what a lot of people do is they'll, they'll post a link here. They'll put their .com, but their .com, their .com goes to their fancy website. And on that fancy website, there's nowhere to capture a lead. So God only knows how many people all over social media, because I have my link on every platform, God only knows how many people are actually clicking on it, on it going to my website, taking a look at what's on the website, and then leaving in five seconds because there's nothing attractive there. Yeah, so my yearfirsthome.com URL goes to this, this page, and it goes to my cross-country mortgage, well, it goes to my cross-country mortgage page, which I don't believe has anything as far as a capture. Lead capture. No, not at all. Zero. Not at all. So what, what I would do, so I would, I would, link, I would link something, whatever's going to link to my landing page. That's where everyone needs to be going. Your entire online presence, every website filled on every platform on LinkedIn, the website filled, it needs to be that.com for your landing page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And maybe if you're, maybe when, and, and if you know, you're on a phone, you're on the phone with a client and a client needs to know other details or whatever. Okay. Go to my, go to the website, click on this, click on that. But until then cold traffic does not go to a website. And that's the number one thing that everyone does. Yeah, they'll put their fancy website on here thinking people are going to it. No one is. No one is. And at the same time, if they are, then there's no ability to capture a lead. And that's just all a waste of time. That's 100% accurate. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, link that to your landing page. That'd be good. And, and yeah, if you come to GoDaddy, get, get your next one for a buck. But if you do this, if you already have a GoDaddy, yeah. you, can only, you can only exercise this, this coupon code here if you use a different email. And I think even a different credit card. Okay. If you use the same email you have with GoDaddy and even maybe the same credit card you've purchased other domains with, they may not honor this discount. Yeah. yeah. But I've done it many, many times. But yeah, I, I've used different emails and different cards because I'll, I'll do this for a client. I'll, I'll do it for a client with their email, with their credit card number, and I'll go register it for them. But if I did it with my own, they already know I've been a customer for 20 years. So. Sure. But a brand new one, you could for sure try to get that. Yeah. But yeah, step one, that's step one, list and everything. And then step two, just taking that like number up, taking yeah. it up a little higher. And then, and then, and then step three, focus on, on weekly ads. And here's what we'll do. So I'll say this in closing, Jay, because I'll, I'll start this ad tonight. I'll email you um, the image of it. So once it goes live, I'll send you an email and I'll show you what the ad looks like. Okay. Um, so I'll set that up tonight. But what you should, here's what I'll leave you with. Here's what you should work on next. Okay. Next is step three, and I'd love to help you with that. We'll, we'll set up another call where we start strategizing for weekly ads. But what I can tell you right now is get your, get your hands on some type of home buying guide. Yes. Some type of guide that's going to give me some, some general information on, on what it takes to purchase or what it takes to qualify for a mortgage. And, and, and give it a little bit more, you know, meat, put maybe, maybe send me like a seven page, a 10 page, a five page type of PDF. Um, that would be very, very powerful. You got but it. here's your homework. Here's your real, real homework. You, and this is for step three. 
your first, and I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the email that I sent you, which would be, which would have been on the third day after you got the book, that third email that went out, that's step three. So you should be getting that email if you didn't already today. Okay, so that video, so, so again, as you see everything I'm telling you, man, I do myself. Everything I'm preaching to you, I, I literally do myself. Okay. In that email that you're going to get from me today, you'll read, a few, you'll read a few paragraphs, you'll click, it'll, it'll take you to a video. I'm taking you to a page, which would be your Wix page. So when you click on my email, you watch the video, it takes you to a page. Mm -hmm. And on that page, there's a video of me telling you what to do, and then there's a button to schedule a call. Yep. But in that third video, I'm talking about what I'm going to tell you right now. So step three, the very first video is an intro video. I truly believe you should pull out your phone and just go on a two to three minute rant about Jay. Yep. As much as you may not want to, I just think there's much, much more. more I, I think it's just a, such a powerful marketing video that you could be doing right now. Like, and it's the first one, it's, it's, it, it's the first one. And there's reasons why, which I'll explain, but there's reasons why it's the first one, but it's a video of you introducing yourself, pulling out your phone. Hey guys, this is Jay. Just wanted to give you some background, give you some, you know, give you a few minutes of who I am, my experience, my passion, what I've been you know, doing in the mortgage industry for the past so many years. It's an intro. It's not a pitch. It's more of an intro. Who is Jay? Who is cross country mortgage? And I'm talking about without all the glamour like this would normally be like when i when i think of your company i'm thinking of corporate i'm thinking of, of of been in business forever what most companies like yours would do is go hire a camera crew get the green screen get the lighting get the professional 4k camera what most companies like yours would do is go hire a professional film crew to come do a damn video like that yeah i'm telling you pull out your cell phone jay okay I'm telling you the magic is when your hand is shaken because you can't hold the phone still. Yeah. The magic is when you're stuttering. The magic is when that's just Jay in his home office. The magic is when you're just sitting there drinking your, your morning cup of coffee and you got your phone out and you're just telling us what's going on. There's magic in that raw, authentic type of picture. That's social media. So the moment someone brings their commercial and their professional camera crew to the scene, people are turned off right away. Got Pull it. out your phone, introduce yourself. Hey guys, this is Jay. Just wanted to give you some, some, some background on who I am and how long I've been in the industry and why I love helping people. That type of short form video is the first video ad. That's, that's video number one. You take that video. We'll talk about that later. So let's, let's do step one. Let's, or actually all your links are already there, but let's run this like ad. Mm -hmm. And then you'll start to receive my emails over the next few days. Yep. Let's, I'm ready whenever you are. Like whenever, I always tell people because I, I go into every, every call assuming, and, and this, is, this is just assuming. Like I could be totally wrong, which I'm wrong a lot. But sure. I go into the call assuming that the budget is not that big, right? Marketing budget. Yes. I go in thinking that the budget is not that big, no matter who I'm talking to. So that's why I always say, let's start here first. Let's run the like ad. We'll put a hundred bucks towards that. We start yep. here first. Yep. And then once you go close your next deal, that's when I'm just assuming that the budget opens up a little bit, right? When anyone closes their next deal, if an agent closes their next escrow, I already know, okay, yep. a little bit of budget may open up. Yep. So, so in your case, I'm telling you the same thing. Go fund your next deal. And then that's when I think you should start step three. Okay. Because okay. now you'll have a little bit of, 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 of budget to work with. Yep. And that's when you could start running weekly ads. It's not going to take a lot. Like what I want you to start planning or start budgeting, I should say, is start budgeting maybe, maybe 10 bucks a day, like 300 a month. Wow. Okay. 300 a month. And you would crush it, man. 10 bucks a day. You're yeah. running a Facebook video ad. You're targeting everyone in, in, in Illinois yeah. who's looking to either refinance, purchase. There's so many different ways we can target them, but it's the fact yeah. that you're targeting them and you're running one every week, 10 bucks a day, 300 yeah. a month, and you're getting more exposure and capturing leads than you can possibly imagine. Yeah. I just don't want to be an also ran in this race anymore. Right. Yes. Right? Yes. I just want to be that. I, I got to do something different and I've got to make that happen. I mean, it's crazy. You can do it, Jay. You can do it. Like, and, and once you, once you start putting up more videos, see, these are all like stock image photos, right? So oh. 
the moment you start putting yourself out, man, you'd be getting 2000 views of people that actually seen your face. Yeah. And, and, and you got, you got, you got that professional look, man, like a guy like you, I'm already thinking probably 35 years in the business. Like I'm already putting you on a pedestal just because of the way you look, <laughs> I'm thinking you're as professional as they come. So, and, and that's that, and that's what, what happens also when, when people start watching your videos, they automatically put you on a pedestal licensed yeah. professional mortgage banker lender. Like I can look at that image and automatically you have all my attention. Yeah. Automatically, you have all my respect. Automatically, you have all my attention because I can just read it, mortgage, and just know you're a professional. Thank you. And that, that's why when people start seeing your videos, they're like, dang, okay, this guy's talking about some good stuff. And then they see you again, and then they see you again, and then they see you again because we're targeting them. And, and, and yeah. that's, that's the magic of it because they keep seeing you. People end up liking you. They end up feeling like they can trust you. They, they end up feeling like they know you. Yeah. And before you know it, they end up clicking, learn more, getting your seller guide or before you know it, because you're, because they're receiving value-based emails from you and it's actually Jay back on video. Yeah. And, and I've been receiving a few emails from him now. Okay. Let me reach out to him. Let me, let me, let me schedule an appointment. It's time to talk to Jay. Yeah. Like you just create this little audience of loyal people that are digging your stuff and, and in your business, in, 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 well, not in many businesses, but especially in your business, in real estate, in, in also in solar, like these high ticket deals, it doesn't take many deals for you, man, to make, to justify everything I'm saying, to justify yeah, right. the cost of everything I'm saying. It doesn't take you that many deals. Yeah. It takes yeah. you one deal. I already know the numbers. Like it takes you one funded deal per month to, to, to have, to have such a crazy profit margin. It's not even funny. Yeah. Not only would you break even with one funded deal per month with everything I'm saying, but you'd profit tremendously from one yeah. deal Yeah, from what I'm talking by per month. You know, it's like that, that, that's special. Some businesses have to run upside down up front. Some businesses have to spend money up front, take the loss up front sure. to capture the leads up front to then monetize on the back end. It's many, true. many businesses run Facebook ads and take a loss up front and win on the back end. But in your case, you're taking a, you're taking a win up front. Yeah. You know, you may spend a few hundred per month, but you need one damn deal. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Right. One, like, yeah. one deal makes, makes sense of it all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's the business you're in, which is, which is special. And you got to take advantage of that. That's why when I say 300 bucks, it's like, it's like, dude, that's pennies. Yeah. Like pennies compared to what we, what else would be spending yeah. or, 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 or just in general. Yeah. Like you make several thousand per deal. How can we not spend uh, several hundred per month to make it happen? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like in my honest opinion, you need to be spending a few thousand per month, which you'll eventually get to, yeah. but you need to be spending a few thousand per month on, yeah. on what I'm saying, but you'll get there. You'll get there. Okay. So let's just do this, Jay, go to your business page really, really quick. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, request access to the page yep. so I can run the ad. And it'll just be this one ad that I, that I set. Um, let me go to the business settings that I set for you tonight. And we'll just take that number up. We'll put a hundred bucks towards the ad. We'll take that number up at, at that budget. That number would be 1100 very, very soon. Okay. And that's all you need. And then after that, just check for my emails. And, and let's, let's chat soon, you know, fund an, fund another deal. If you need to, I, again, I'm just assuming for all I know, you could be sitting on seven figures of, of a budget. I don't, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, yeah, we'll just assuming go fund your next deal. And then let, let's, let's start, let's start doing step three. Let's start focusing. And that's where I can teach you to do all this stuff. Like I can either teach you to do all that stuff. I mean, I, I can easily run these ads for you, but I mean, if you're the type that wants to learn it, like, the I like do. ad, it's a one-time ad, so I just do it real quick from my end. Yeah. But 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 step three, as you start doing weekly ads, I truly believe that's something you can learn. Okay. But at the same time, you may be the type of person that says, you know what, David, I'm too busy funding deals. I have the money. You just go do it for me. You could be that person too. I don't know, but we'll get there when like we get to there. Get to that point, really. What's that? I would like to get to that point. Yeah, yeah. That's where that's where it, it'd be really really cool. So. Let's, let's start with this one ad. Let me just, all I'm going to do, let me know when you're on your business page. Um, and I think, I don't know if you still see my screen. I see your screen. Okay. So 
all I'm doing here is just requesting access so I can run an ad from your page. Yep. Um, but then what you can do is you can click escape and um, you'll exit the zoom window and right then you now? can go to your, go to your business page. Right now, hit yes. escape. Yes. All right. And go to my business page. Um, I'm on my business page. Okay, cool. So did you receive a, no a notification or not? Yeah, notifications eight. Let me click on that. See if you have one from Inspired Digital. I don't see it, David. Okay, no worries. So on your business page, just click on, um, do you see settings at the top, like in the top right? Yep, click on that. Yes. And then click on uh, page roles to the left. Okay, page roles, I've got it. Perfect. And then all you're, you're gonna do is just scroll towards the middle of the page and you'll see um, respond to request. You'll see inspired digital. Yes. Perfect. Click on that. Yes, please. Okay. And then it'll just walk, it'll, it'll take you through a few clicks and then you'll just put in your password and then that's it. It says give inspired digital yes. access to my page. Click on that. Yes. Okay. Approve request. Perfect. Okay, so let me re-enter your password. Okay, I don't even know what it is, but it's in there, so God bless it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it should it should work. How's your state been with all this? craziness going on jay well just got an email from the school district last night that they're going to delay school in person until october so you know in chicago's a mess too and, and so is california with all this rioting uh, you yes. know protesting it's rioting and chicago has taken it to another level as well but not like portland right. for those guys but is that where you're at chicago i actually am in a, about an hour out of chicago i'm in a little horse community called wayne mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. God bless this country. I don't know what's going on with this country, man. I don't either. Right? It's just, no matter what it's side you're kid. on, it's, it's just a it, farm kid from North Dakota that find myself in Chicago, but man, it's not where I wanted the kids to grow up. I, you know, I often think about taking them back out to the wide open prairie and just let them enjoy. Right. Isn't, isn't that how you grew up? Like, was it like that? Is it still um, like that, your old town, your hometown? I had a peanut butter sandwich and a can of Shasta on our bike, and we were gone, and as long right? as it came by dark, nobody came looking. Right. You can't go to the grocery store and turn around in the toilet paper aisle without worrying about where your kid is at. Right? It's such a different world, Jay. Mm -hmm. Like, it's mm -hmm. such a different world. And and I don't, I don't know your take on what's really going on, but I have my own, you know, take on what's really going on, and it's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a crazy time, man. I have two little ones myself. I'm starting all over. Like I literally have two little ones uh -huh. and I just, I can't, I can't imagine, you know, what their next 10 to 15 years are going to look like. A little scary. You know, it's very weird. Very, very weird to me. Very, very weird. All right. Yeah. Are we good? We are. So we're good on, we're good on my end. Just whatever card I can use, just give me either a Visa master or Amex for the app. Yeah. I'll send it to you. My son's got my car with my wallet. I'll send it to you in about 15 minutes when he gets Sounds back good. to the store. I'll just send it to you in an email. Is that all right? That's perfect. Just the, the card number, the expiration, the three digits, and the billing address. Yep. All and of that's that. it. And then once I put that in, then it shoots out a receipt. So you'll get a confirmation yep. um, for the ad. And then I'll email you a picture of the ad and you'll see it in the news feed. And then we'll be live tonight. All right. I'll send it to cool. you, my friend. Okay, Jay. Reach out to me anytime. Let's schedule another call. Let's talk about step three next. I've got one scheduled for Friday. Oh, perfect. Sounds good, Jay. Okay, buddy. Take okay, care. Talk to you soon. You too. Bye-bye.